The idea of proof of stake is that you need to stake some coins to become a validator. What does staking coins mean? It means that you need to lock up some of your coins, which is the money, for a certain duration. For example, the CRO coins require you to stake a minimum of 180 days, which means that you cannot withdraw your coins for this um, six months. Some coins also have a bonding duration, which means you need to wait more than 20 days before you start earning anything. There is a minimum stake amount for most of the coins, for example, 32 ETH in ETH2. So, what's the benefits of stacking the coins? For example, the CRO stacking benefits will allow you to earn a 10% interest rate. I have stacked my coins, now what? Validators will be chosen randomly to form a committee. So let's say out of 10,000 people who have stacked the coins, 128 people will be chosen as validators to form the committee. Out of the 128 commit, uh, members, okay, one member will propose, which means combine transactions into a block, while the other members, which is 127 members, will validate that block, which means tries to confirm the block. This will require majority to confirm. For example, two-thirds of the committee members need to confirm the block. Okay, that is uh, two-thirds is 66% uh, of the members need to confirm the block. Okay, new committee will be reformed after some time. For example, after 32 times of combine, confirm, combine, confirm, right? After 32 times of doing so, a new committee will be reformed. Okay, this can avoid using the same member every time. Okay, and then we choose again out of a 10,000 people okay, and form new committee. In proof of stake, if you have more coins being stacked, you will have higher chance to be chosen as validator. So you can think that as a lottery uh, system. Okay, if you buy more lottery tickets, you will have higher chance to win. Okay, look at the picture over here. So this guy who stack more coins, in other words, who buy more lottery tickets, right, is chosen as the validator. This guy as well is being chosen because he has more coins. However, this guy who has more coins as well are not being chosen. Why? Because this is a random system. Okay? They are chosen randomly. Just that if you have more coins, you have higher chance to be chosen. Okay? Look at this guy who has less coins are being chosen over this one. Because this is a randomly chosen. Okay? So why we want to uh, give higher chance for people who have more coins to be chosen? Because people who hold more coins are less likely to attack the system and cause money drops. For example, I stacked one million right, dollars in the network. It is not possible that I will attack my own uh, money. Okay, you will not attack your own money unless you are very uh, some mental problem okay, and then you attack your own money and cause your one millions becomes a half million that is not reasonable okay therefore in proof of stack we can uh, safely say that most of the people who stack their coins are good users okay and then we choose out of the some uh, 10k right people to form the committee and most of the committee, right, more than 50% are good, right? So it is actually more than, far more than 50% because it is not reasonable to attack your own money, okay? So majority may uh, increase this amount, okay? Maybe just now example, that is 66% of the people needs to confirm, okay? Other than using 50%. So this will create a problem that is rich gets richer, okay? Because people who have more coins, which means who has more money, will be 
having higher chance to be chosen, that, that is, rich gets richer. Because if you are chosen as validator, you can take transactions fee as your reward. So what is the solution? Okay, that is, introduce a coin edge. Let's say um, you stack, right? In two years ago, I stack uh, 32 coins. Okay, now recently, other people, like one month ago, he stacked 32 coins. Okay, so instead of giving these two guys, right, having 32 lotteries, I may consider the number of years as well. Let's say after two years, you will remain 32 uh, lotteries. But let's say one month, uh, to those who uh, stacked one month ago, I may give higher chance to win, maybe 50. Although you stack only 32, okay, I give you 50 lottery tickets. Okay, this will solve the rich gets richer problem because those who stack recently will have more lottery, which means higher chance to be chosen. Okay, the computational requirement in proof of stack is low because members are not competing with each other. If you still remember, in proof of work, okay, all members, which is all miners, they try to guess the numbers. Only one people will find out that number, okay? While the rest are just wasting energy. But in proof of stake, okay, we are not choosing everyone, okay? We choose only some of the members as validator, okay? This is uh, using the less energy, okay? In proof of stake, members are not guessing number. So what they do? They just verify the digital signatures, the hash of that block. Okay, so um, by doing so, they use less amount of energy, and it is very reasonable that you will not attack your system and cause your own money to drop. Okay, so we can use less uh, mathematics to confirm that block. Okay, which means we use less energy. Okay, so it is sufficient to run this proof of stake a network using a typical laptop or using your smartphone that is okay but in proof of work if you use laptop you will not earn anything because uh, your smartphone or laptop has far less computational power than those who are going to win okay so in proof of stack you can use your laptop and after using your laptop to uh, uh, verify the blocks in pro or stack you can also do other works such as playing games right using your laptop while mining the coins but in proof of stack we don't use the word mine we use the word forge or mint let's recap what we have just learned if you want to attack a pos network that is a proof of stack network you will need to hold at least 51% of the stake, which is a lot of money. How much money you will need? Look at the market cap of the cryptocurrencies. 458 billion US dollar, 8.9 billion US dollar, 3.9 billion US dollars. So unless you have billions of US dollars, you don't need to think about how you want to attack the network because you will need to put in money to have higher chance to be chosen as the validator. But if you don't have billions, you don't think about how you want to attack. So even you have a hundred billion US dollar and you want to be attacker, okay, you have the money to attack. But then it is not rational for you to attack and cause the value of your hundred billion drops. Maybe becomes hundred billions only becomes one million already. Because you hold so much stack, right? That is the majority of the stack in a cryptocurrency. You will not attack your own money. Okay. So there's a penalty as well. If a previous confirmation is reverted, this reversion can happen if there is a 51% attack. So what is the penalty? The validators will lose a portion or entire stack. 